Well, Dave, um, you know, he's very quiet for a captain, but he leads by example. You know, he's at least seven out of ten every week and, you know, very steady and probably doesn't get it the credit it deserves because he is so consistent, you know, and you probably really only notice Dave, really, if he has a poor game, which is... You know, I can probably count on, on two fingers the poor games that he's had since I've been at this club. Um, so, you know, he's a model professional and, and, that, and that's why he's captain. People will say oh, you're, you're guaranteed like a 7 out of 10 every week, you might not get a 9 out of 10 but very rarely there will be occasions when you're a 4 or 5 out of 10 but just to be that level of consistency I think that's what a manager looks for in the player, um, they would much rather that than have somebody who is unbelievable one week but 4 or 5 weeks you don't see them so um, it's not something that I work at, it's just, just the way I play, I don't know, it's, I don't I don't go out with the mindset I've got to be decent that game. Every game you get ready for, you you try and do your best. So that's what I continue to do. I'm delighted to have signed again. If if had a great four years here, it's 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 been a great club for me, and hopefully I've been good for for St Johnson as well. It's been a good fit. So I didn't see any reason to change it. I was I was happy enough with with signing a two year deal, and um, I'm delighted to get it sorted. So. Um, the, Players don't like uncertainty when you're coming out of contract. You can take the risk that, that you might get some, you might get something with a bit more money or whatever, but to be honest, it's, it's the grass really isn't always green on the other side. It's if you're happy where you are, content at your work and and things things are stable, you know you're getting wages every month, especially the way Scottish football is just now, then then I'm delighted to have to have say, signed to extend my contract here at St Johnson. I think Dave's been very important. He's very, very consistent as a full-back. Breaks, goes forward and chips him a few goals as well. But I think this is his, his experience is invaluable, especially on the back four. Um, I have to say, I was very privileged as a as an old pro when I was a breaking. Uh, I played with Dave Mackay. Um, he came on loan from Dundee, and to be fair, you could see then that he was a quality player. Um, he was, to be fair, he was. You could see that he, had, you could see that he was going to be a good professional, a good player. He was very steady. Um, and very, very good in the ball. And to be fair, I think that's shown. He's shown that here over the years he's been here. I got sent out in, in loan to Brecon when I was, I don't know what age I was, 19 pro probably, and Roddy was there finishing his career. Um, but it was a great experience. Dick Campbell was a manager, and just to go out and play, it's fine playing under 21 football and under 18 football, but to, to toughen you up, you need to, I think it's great for young boys to go out and play a trade in the lower leagues where, where people are working all day and coming there and they're, they're doing it just for enjoyment, they're still playing games, but it means something to actually win games and uh, playing for three points uh, and, and small win bonuses, which might make a difference for these guys as well. So it was a great experience and I really enjoyed working with Dick Campbell, who, who had a, a big influence on me at an early age. And, He's one of these guys that it was enjoyable to work for. He was a bit crazy. He's, he's known for his his eccentric behaviour, and uh, at that time he had before he got his teeth thick, fixed, and when he was having a when he was going mad, and the slavers would drip him off his chin and stuff. He used to see some sights, but but it was a great experience, and I'd recommend it to any young SPL player to to go out and play in the lower leagues for for even six months a season. It would, it would definitely help their. their improvement yeah, for their career. Yeah, first and foremost as a defender, your, your job is to defend um, and if you can, can help out in attack, support and putting crosses in or, or getting a couple of assists then that's a bonus on top of it but first and foremost you've got to make sure that you do your job at the back. Um, no good giving away two goals if you, you only create one or whatever so it's um, it's been a part of my game. I like to attack, um, like to support support my wide man or get round him, and um, it's just just the way I like playing. Um, I like playing centre half when I play there as well. That's totally different. Obviously, you're just concentrating and defending, but when I play there, I do miss the, the attacking side of the game. I was just, I think it was the first goal that I'd scored since uh, I lost my son, who was 
he was born, still born, at 33 and a half weeks uh, in April last year. So it was just a little celebration for him for, for the first goal I scored. So it was always my intention to do it. I'd, I'd missed a penalty away at Murrowell in the, I think it was the second game of the season, which which delayed it a little while. But yeah, it meant a lot to, to get that first goal and, and dedicate it to him. We think about him every day. Um, there's, there's loads of photos around the house to remember us and talk to my daughter about him regularly as well. He's, he'll, he'll always be a part, of, although he's not here with us, he'll always be a huge part of the family. And uh, luckily enough, we're, we're expecting another child. Um, should be born late late June, so um, I'm look, looking forward to that. A, a sad time last year, but hopefully a happier time this, this summer. It's been a bit an up and down season. We, we started poorly as we have done the last three or four four years and, and then we went on a little run where we won five in a row which pushed us up and we've gone through little spells like that where we've, when we seem to win we'll maybe go on a little run of two or three games and, and then another f three four without winning a game but there's been lots of draws. Most teams in the league have, are in double figures for draws and uh, there's a lot of tight games but I think we're around about the same points tally as we were last year, so hopefully we can, can go on and beat that to, towards the end of the season. Nice and quick, slow yourself down, then it gives you five yards to play with. The gaffer's really infectious, he's, he's positive, he's bubbly, and, and Tommy's a more sensible figure of the I think he keeps him in check at times, but they're a good pair to work for. It. We enjoy our training and, and games as well. I think that the results have shown that, that we work well together. They, um, they've got a good squad, they've built a good squad together to go with the, the squad that Derek McInnes left. We were, we were in a good shape at that time as well, but the manager's added a few and, and we've improved again. Uh, we've improved every year since we've been in the Premier League, so long may that continue. Hopefully we just have another successful couple of years. Um, I say just gradual improvement every year. It'll be hard if we finish third this year, it'll be hard to, to improve on that. Year in year, there's only really one place higher you can go, because Celtic are, are obviously going to win the league for the foreseeable future, but just just try and keep winning games and hopefully get our European win next year, but it'll be fantastic for, for everybody with the club and the fans again. They, I'm sure they would love an hour trip abroad, so hopefully things just keep improving. Uh, do you know, it's, uh, I've, I've never had any problems with Dave, to be honest, and I don't think any of the club has. Uh, as he keeps uh, turning out good performances week in, week out, and I think that's what the fans appreciate as well. And I was fortunate as well, if you give it your all, the fans take to you, and I think you definitely get that from uh, Dave Mackay, and the St John's fans know that he's signed a two-year contract, so we've got him tied up for another two years, which is an added bonus. It's a great honour to, to pull on the blue shirt of St Johnston every week and to come out and play in front of all the fans who are faithful and turn up every week. It's, it's fantastic just to, to play and captain St Johnston Football Club.